Alright, welcome to uh, a new series of uh, Armor 3 in this case, as the Armor 3 is out at beta nowadays. Um, yeah, we, we are gonna do some tutorials, uh, some basic ones for uh, those who want to know how to uh, create simple tasks, uh, simple missions and so on, and uh, know, how, know how to place items into the boxes and uh, and so on. So uh, we just start with uh, a simple basic. In this case, uh, say you want to make a mission and you want to make sure that the guy doesn't die for any from anything uh, like a blast or you want to simply do some experimenting uh, during your mission. So in this case, uh, let's just place out the guy and uh, as we don't have a name on this guy, usually I put a name in, uh, like, it could be anything, but in this case, uh, I could put in player one, underscore one, you don't want to have space in names. And uh, then I'm re going to refer to the player one in the init field, and in this case, it's going to be player one, underscore one, of course. Uh, allow damage fall. That's going to make the guy uh, into a sort of a god mood. Uh, he won't be able to die uh, unless he's in a uh, vehicle explodes or uh, gets destroyed. That's the only way you're going to get this this character killed. So, yeah. Alright. In this case, it's going to be a red 4, obviously, since that's the what I use last. And you can always try this thing out. So you can put out a guy with a uh, decent amount of firepower. Try it out. And make it pretty. So this is a good way to try things out. Camera chase in action. Meaning that uh, this enemy character is shooting at me and he hits. And that's uh, the end of the guy. Alright, so that's how you make a uh, guard move with a simple command. And disregard this one. This is an old experiment that I made. Alright, so what you do is you place player 1 in this case because I named the character or the unit player 1. If I don't name him, it's gonna be this instead of the name because I'm referring to this unit, this unit is so and it works as well as you can see but you do want to make make it a good habit to name your units because it's going to make it easier once you have uh, once you have multiple units say you want to have certain units trigger a certain condition or whatever. You want to have have names for everything. It's going to make uh, things a lot simpler in the long run. So that's a good tip. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching and uh, do come back later for more updates and tutorials. Bye, -bye for now.